right guys so I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers that have um, subscribed to my channel this morning I came on and I was at a 902 subscribers so I want to say thank you so much for subscribing and showing um, my channel support if there's any videos that you want me to make I know there's a couple requests already that I will be starting in September once the kids are back in school um, please leave it in comments below or send me a message or on my gmail and I'll be more than happy to do that and um, make sure you share my videos especially the crafty ones on um, Facebook and um, Instagram wherever you want to share them and make sure that you hit that bell for notifications so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video all right guys I am just folding the tool if you guys can see even the evenly from one end here to this end here All right guys, so now I'm going to um, take this end here and I am going to measure it with my ruler and I'm just going to cut about an inch or so because I want this end here to be um, even. This end is pretty much even. This end is pretty much even here as you can see. So I just want to cut this, the ends of here so it can be even as well five yards of tool, two that is off the ball, not the tool that comes in the roll. So this is five yards of tool off the ball. I went and as you saw, I folded it as even as I can get it. This side here is more even than this side. So what I'm going to do is I am going to measure to see how much I think I would need to cut off and it's going to be about an inch and a half so that I can get this side um, so that I can get that side even okay uh, let me just make sure Just wanted to give it a little marking, that way I know where I'm cutting. As you see, tool picks up everything. All right guys, so I cut the ends of my tool here and now what we're going to, <laughs> and now we're going to measure out our tool. So mom expressed to me when she placed the order that the baby is a tiny baby. So this is for six month old. So normally it would be six inches. Um, I would, the, the tutu would be six inches long. But I feel since I'm using this tool, this, um, I think it's an inch or an inch and a half wide, that I want to take off a half of inch. So um, I'm going to do it at five and a half. So we have to double that. So five and a half, um, if you double it, double it, sorry, it's 11. So I am going to cut the tool right about here. Just give myself a little marking and then I try to stay as steady as I can. Okay. All right guys, so this is our tool that I've cut 11 inches um, wide and as you can see uh, let me 
hold on, I can't get this my finger in here. Oh my god, what's wrong with you, girl? Okay, here. All right, so we're going to separate our tool into two pieces. So this is one bunch here, and this is the other bunch. So I'm going to try and fold this tool as even as I can and take it over to my sewing machine. Okay, so you see that the fold is here and this is our end. So now I'm just going to try to give it a good fold and take it over to my sewing machine. All right. In my sewing machine, I don't know if you guys can see, but, um, okay, so I have lines. All right, guys, so I'm not sure if you can see, but you see my sewing machine, I have um, lines up here. So I, I already know on this sewing machine um, that I'm always going to line up the end of my, well, actually the top of my toe right with this last line here so I already know where it's going to be at in my sewing machine and you'll get used to it as well once you're sewing them on your sewing machine exactly where your marking is at so I always try to make sure that the tool stays straight and um, is along this line and that's the top of the um, of the tool and as you see here this elastic is going to be it's going to slide on the top of here so you just want to make sure that it's lined up right so that your elastic fits in here. All right guys, so let's start sewing. I'm going to back stitch and then continue sewing. to take the this opening here oh my god I hope you can see okay so this is the opening right here and this is going to be my second and this here is the second part of our tool that we're going to be adding on to the existing um, tool that we just um, stitched up that we just stitched up Ugh. All right, so now I'm just going to open. We're going to open the tool. So this is the bottom and this is the top. I hope you guys can see. And I'm just going to overlap it onto the other tool. And make sure that it's straight and even so that you don't have a problem when you're adding your elastic to it so here we go and I'm just going to add it like so and overlap it I'm going to close it and then I'm going to back stitch we're going to continue sewing and if you did not um, want to add them together and you just wanted to do two separate um, pieces and just add it to the elastic you can do that as well you won't be able to see it so you should be fine
All right, guys, so I'm going to start off with my polka dot ribbon as the first layer that I'm going to add to my tutu. And I'm just going to burn the top of the ribbon just to seal it. And let's start sewing. Oh, and I've also changed the thread on the sewing machine. So we are now using the black, if you guys can see. All right, so yeah, we're gonna be using black um, sewing thread so that it can match up with the black ribbon. So I changed it from red to black. Because you always wanna make sure that your thread matches the ribbon or if not it's not going to look right trust me I tried it one time um, when I didn't have the color thread I needed and the whole tutu was just done because it did not look right so always make sure that the thread matches your ribbon so this is the oh, sticking. All right. so this is the tool that we had um, just finished sewing and if you see this is where we sewed zoom in put it against the sewing machine okay so you see this is where we stitched the tool and this is where we're going to put our elastic on top here then on the bottom here if I can stick my fingers in there we have um, two pieces of tool this is the top and this is the bottom what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the tool like so. So now we have, oh, give me a second. So now we have a top piece, which is this piece here. And then we have our bottom piece, which is this piece here. So I'm picturing my tutu to be this this way once it's done so with this top piece here I want it to be shown more on the top because I want the yellow tool which is going to be on the other piece of tool to show more so not more to show just a little bit not as much as the polka dot so this is what I want on the top of the tutu see stitch here and this part so we're going to open it like so so now you see that you see the let's say the dark side of the ribbon and this is the polka dot so when you open it this is how it's going to to look remember because they're not going to see this part so for this up uh, for this layer of tool and this ribbon I want um, the tool to match up with the top of the ribbon only because I'm doing the bottom part in a different color or if not then I, you know I would have just centered this um, and I am going to stitch this in the middle here. Now I'm going to add my tool this matching up with my ribbon and I'm going to line it up so that it's just right in the middle. Okay, so that's the number two. This is the line, and this is where my ribbon is lined up. I might move it over just a little bit, but that's where I line it up so that it can be in the middle. really quick guys so this is the top of the tool the elastic will go in through here this will be the first layer of tool and then if we open it up pull that to the top this is the second layer which I'm going to be adding the yellow tool 
So this is how we're going to do that. Let me open this. I don't know if your kids come in your craft room and take everything because mine's the well. I only have one that does it, and that's Gigi. All right, guys, you have to burn your end, but my lighter is done, and I do not want to run to the first floor all the way from up here to have to get a lighter. So I'm just going to start it like this and then burn it at the end. All right, guys, so we're going to add the ribbon, I guess, to the back of the tool because the tool is on top. Now, if you had ribbon that was either printed or they had the ugly side, that ribbon you will want it up here, touching that side, touching or facing the tool, and then the pretty, pretty side facing down into the sewing machine like so all right guys so now to sew the yellow part onto this what we're going to do we're going to have the part where the elastic is going to go which is right here we're going to have this part facing up remember when we did the polka dot this part was facing down now we're going to have this part facing up okay my back stitch and here we here we go So this is it. Once we put it together, it will look cute. But now we gotta get the elastic through all of this. All right, guys. So, like I said, it's um, a six-month-old tutu. So I'm going to grab my elastic and I am going to measure it so it's supposed to be and when you measure it do not stretch the elastic just let it you know lay as it should so it should be 14 inches um, long I'm going to take an inch away which is 13 inches and trust me, you may want to do that. I learned that from making Gigi's tutu when she was smaller and then adding too much tool and then the whole elastic will stretch out and it's frustrating. Okay, so I have 14. I just want to make this straight here. That way it's even. All right, guys, so when I do my ribbon trim tutus, I use the safety pins here. Make sure you can see them. And these are pretty big, as you see. They're as, as long as probably my fingers. And I like the bigger ones um, instead of the smaller ones because I feel it's easier, at least for me, to get the ribbon through um, to the tutu and then I use this one at the end so that my tool doesn't run out the other end so I stick my safety pin in here and then again like so and everybody has a way of doing it and as you do your tutus you'll figure out which you know way works for you and I do it like this instead of just doing it at the end because I don't want this to keep 
slipping out and the tool will fall out of this end and we don't want that. We want the safety pin to be able to hold the tool as you're shoving all of this tool into this small piece of elastic. Okay, so that's the purpose of, of having a safety pin like so with the end. tool. This side will be the side that I will be inserting all of my tool into here. So on this side, this is how I put my safety pin. That way I'm just shoving all the tool into here and then this end is being used just to hold it. Okay, so let's get started. Here is the beginning and this is where I'm going to start inserting my elastic. If I can get it open. Because right now I can't see the red is like throwing me off. and you put it in like like this and this is the way we're just going to start sliding it and you see that there and this is what I mean you want it to come in I just wanted you guys to be able to see okay and this is the end you see how it's all coming to this end so we just want to keep, this is like the one part that's like, oh my God, do they have another way to do this? And this is for six months though. So imagine when it's like, for like a four year old, or one time I had a five year old too, too. I was like, ay Dios mio, I'm going to be here like all day. All right, so you see? My nails match the rib, um, the ribbon. <laughs> I need to get a manicure. I really do. I just been so busy. We went on, you know, our road trips and camping and stuff, as you guys seen in my vlogs. So now I'm just catching up to everything, and I just don't have time for a manicure. Maybe when the kids start school, I'll go the first day they go to school. All right, guys. So you see what I'm talking about? how it's bunching up. I'm just gonna pull it. And another thing I wanna tell you guys, when you're doing your, your tutu, you don't want to be stretch and you're adding the tool, you don't wanna be stretching out the elastic to add the tool, stretching it out, cause you will stretch out your elastic and you do not want that. Just trying to add it to the end so you guys can see what I'm, I was talking about. All right, so you see how I told you how I place the pin and why. Do you see right here? Already the tool is starting to um, kind of swallow up the elastic to come out of this end. Now the safety pin is stopping that. If I would have placed my safety pin this way on this end, the tool would have just fell right out. I know because this happened. So that's why now I do it this way. Okay, now I'm just going to fast forward the video from here and I'm going to sit down and watch Cable Girls while I finish doing this and then I'll come right back. Okay guys, so it's done. It didn't take as long as I thought it would. Um, now we have to sew the elastic together. So let me just slide this back. Okay, so now we have to take our two ends and overlap they have them. glue it together. There's other people that sew it by hand and there's other people that actually use the sewing machine. I, I think I'm just going to sew it by hand. Um, I think that'll be easier for me because then I have to change the color thread on the sewing machine and all of that and I really don't want to do that. So if I can find a needle, I'm just going to do it by, um, by hand. Okay guys, once you sew your ends together, just start 
um, evening out your tool around your elastic. And guys, by the way, okay, so this is what we have. straighten this out okay so this is the Minnie Mouse tutu and now we're going to be making a bow so that we can attach a bow to it all right all right guys so this is the all right so this is the ribbon trim Minnie Mouse tutu and it's a six month old tutu I made the bow as you can see what I did was I used um, both of these ribbons and then I got this ribbon that I had also the red and the black and the yellow and I incorporated just to tie everything together then I added bling because I thought it'd be cute so this is the tutu came out super cute but this is the finished result this is the finished result of the Minnie Mouse ribbon trim tutu. It's super cute. It was super easy to make. Um, and I also want to let you know that the next tutorial that I will be doing is going to be on how to make the, um, the matching Minnie Mouse shirt. So look out for that tutorial. I'm just waiting for the onesie to come in because I didn't have a size six months. So as soon as the onesie comes in, then I'll be making a tutorial on the matching Minnie Mouse onesie. And it's going to also incorporate the same colors because obviously it's a set. So um, look out for that tutorial on the Minnie Mouse um, matching Minnie Mouse onesie and, and enjoy your day and make sure to give the ribbon trim Minnie Mouse tutu a try and let me know how it comes out um, I'm curious to know so with that said thank you thank you thank you for taking the time and sitting through this tutorial um, make sure you look out for the next tutorial where I'm going to be making the matching onesie and to the next video thank you so much it's Simply Nana with Crafting Cooking and Sasong. Bye bye.